We are back live, Gary Gustavo and Rafa. Court Central here, number six, at the Polidomo de Racket in Guatemala City, 35th Pan Am Racquetball Championships. Gustavo, we have the first of the men's singles, Team USA, Team Mexico. You see the sorteo, the coin toss by our arbitra principal, Maria Paz Munoz from Ecuador. Gary, great to be here again today, folks. This is the match that, in my opinion, is going to define the outcome of the team competition men's gold silver. Youth Energy receiving the ball here. Sebastian Hernandez, 20 years of age. The only thing he's done was win three gold medals in the last junior competition we had here. Singles, doubles, and mixed. Impressive. Impressive. And yeah. yesterday, longest match under the <laughs> new format. He and Iwasa from Canada, five sets over one and a half hours that match. And so here, here we go, Pratt serving. 0-0, zero, zero, best of five, 11 points, win by two. And on the other side, Charlie Pratt from Oregon and intelligent, smart, can hit the ball hard when necessary. That will be the definition of who comes out on top. My opinion, more importantly than hitting the ball hard, is being able to handle pace. And as we know, Hernandez can uh, hit it harder, Jaime, many, many times. And he can get everything to everything. So you were talking about Hernandez youth and energy. Mr. Pratt, experience and energy. Pass left side. Great shot selection. Saw Char Pratt. Charlie in 2018 take a silver in the World Championship, San Jose, Costa Rica. Impressive, impressive yeah, play absolutely. that tournament. And this is to, to review, this is part of the team play. Two men, two women, four countries represented. Ball up top. Not only did he get to it, he did something with it, Gustavo. Speaking of doing something with it, rally ending shot with the backhand. Game one, three one. Importantly, I think Pratt needs to get out front early in this first set and if at all possible, take the first set. If you get in the driver's seat. A serve. I'm not sure, either she called short or a screen, short serve. Certainly wasn't a screen, that ball was right here at the Chuka. Yeah. Look good here, we'll uh, review the VAR, explain the VAR for our viewing audience, Gustavo. The VAR managed by one of our other referees, Dani Maggi from Argentina, is a video assist review. The call stands, short. Second serve. So Charlie, early on, has now one available appeal left. He lost the appeal for, because call stood. Two usable appeals per set. One timeout, 60 seconds in length per set. Two minutes between. And here we go. Dos sirviendo tres. Buen saque. Ball live, up top. Ball down. Gustavo Hernandez is like a machina, a machine. <laughs> Nothing is down no. with Hernandez, and that's going to get into Charlie's mind, knowing that he's got to make the shot even better each time. That time the pinch he did in the right front. Excellent, excellent, 
Atlanta's not able to get to it. Meanwhile, 4-2 Pratt. Game one. Jam serve. Very effective. Wide angle. Forehand, right side pinch. Hernandez. So he scores a point and he earns a serve, 3-4. Pratt playing smart there on that left side. Instead of driving the ball down like a lot of the younger players would, he took it up top. The great equalizer, as we've been calling it. The ceiling ball game. So that was a wraparound serve, ending up on the left side, right side of the court. Pratt ends the rally from center court with a forehand. So he comes in to serve have, after having scored a point as well with rally scoring, 5-3. 35th Pan Am Racquetball Championships, thank you. Gearbox, splathead.com, Sports Corp out of Colorado Springs. Great serve, up top, ball down. Not a surprise here. He hits that shoulder height backhand well into the corner, taking advantage of the glass along the left side. 6-3, game one. Ball live. Pantasia. Gracias. So fault serve called by Maria Paz. She hails from Cuenca in Ecuador, one of the racquetball hotbeds. And you told me she has a couple of racquetball courts at her house. She does, and she has stopped competitive play herself, and now she's uh, teaching and training Good for with her, her husband. We certainly <laughs> enjoy having her as part of our officiating team. Lovely lady, been with us for probably the better part of two decades as a player, as a delegate, coach, and now as an IRF professional referee. Tiempo México. Regresamos con ustedes en 30 segundos. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. Back live, Gary, Gustavo, and Rafa. Gustavo. Thus far, game one, controlled by Charlie Pratt. I had the opportunity to visit with his acting coach here, his compadre, his doubles partner, Rodrigo. And his formal coach is Janko Renteria, who's doing it virtually from Monterrey in Mexico. But Rodrigo told me that the game plan was eliminate unforced errors and power the ball. However, a lot of those power shots have been loose and neutralized by Charlie's re uh, retrieving skills. And commenting, that point by Charlie there, commenting on the longest uh, match we had yesterday, which was Kobe against Hernandez. Early on, Kobe, uh, it, it took a while for Hernandez to, to warm up, to get going. I think it's important that Charlie keep the game slow, kind of boring for Hernandez. I think that's going to be a lot of help to Charlie. Good point. And Charlie has the temperament to handle the high lobs from Hernandez. That was a difference. And one of the main differences yesterday, Hernandez changed his protocol on serving. And Kobe uh, was not very patient. 
Ball down. 9-3, game one. Si mantiene Pratt el tono de este juego medio lento, tratando de hasta aburrirlo un poco a Hernández, definitivamente va a ser ventaja para Pratt. Primarily been going to that drive left. Why change if it's working? Nice. Reaches for it, snaps a right side wall, front wall, rally ending pinch. And we have game point number one on behalf of the young man from Estados Unidos. Experience versus inexperience, 10 serving three. There it is, ace, 11-3, oh my. Appeal, my friend, appeal. He Why has, not? He has one. He has one left. Remember, he used one early. He does have one left. Unless I guess Fahare told him not to appeal. Sure, look good from here. Okay, stops the bleeding momentarily. He, being Hernandez, comes in to serve with another point. Fourth, <laughs> fourth point, four ten. Ese tiro lo atascó a Sebastián, pero de todas formas pudo rematarla en el centro de la cancha. That's what won the match for him with Kobe yesterday. No less than developing a second game game plan here, changing the serve, see if the defensive serves, if you will are more effective than the power serves that have been loose. Heisey lob. No call by the referee. Pratt deep court. Oh my. Along this vidrio, swung and missed. Checking the racket. So he's entitled to a referee timeout to get another frame, if you will, folks. 30 seconds, no, no coaching help while he's out there. Mala, mala suerte. Excuse me, secure your racket, come right back on, and he did. Mala suerte, le dio al cristal, quebró la raqueta. Cambio de raqueta, y seguimos. We saw this yesterday with Hernandez coming back against Kobe. It's now 6-10, game one. I think Charlie has to go back up with this ball if he gets to the serve. I keep it slow. Keep it slow on, on yeah. Hernandez. Good point. The percentages are with him that Hernandez will make a mistake. Ball down, 7-10. Between the legs. Muy talentoso. Tiro entre las piernas de Hernández. And coming back to that appealable call. It, maybe looked, it looked good from our perspective. Why not? You appeal it. Okay, you lose it. You have no more appeals, but at the same time, game game over. Exactly. And you have the VAR system, which takes much of the human error out of it. For you folks watching, if you see the camera that we have there on the short line in the línea corta, la línea del medio, la línea sólida roja, de color rojo, este, ahí está la cámara y la verdad todos los cortos se ven, todos los tiros saques buenos se ven perfectamente en el sistema bar. I'm surprised Fajare didn't encourage Pratt to use that appeal. Although uh, over the eight days uh, we've had some surprises yes. from Fajare. Yes, we have. <laughs> okay, resume play. Thank you, the Empleados, for keeping the environment on the court safe and fair. 
I would continue the let's force Hernandez to make the error strategy. Let's see if Pratt does that. Good clear. Speaking of clear, man, 39 feet, side wall, front wall, splat winner with the backhand. It's 8-10. We've blinked our eyes three times. The score has converged from 3-10 to 8-10. Impressive. Indicating to the ref, watch the violation. Should Let's see what the call is. So the call is a dead ball hinder replay, and I believe he's appealing for an avoidable. Is that accurate, Gustavo? That is correct. So we've encouraged our officiating crew to, one, men men mention the call, two, mention the appeal, and three, mention the result. And they've all done that extremely well that way we can communicate that to our viewers led by Martel sigue 8 10 apelación perdida le queda una a ambos jugadores de apelaciones so each have one left. One disponible. 8-10, first serve. Hernandez, Mexico, serving to Pratt, USA. Same serve. Ball wrapped around. And there it is. Pratt, Pratt closes it out. 11-8 in game one. Let's watch that last rally. Great return of serve, not trying to do too much. He cleared Hernandez and was playing the chess game. He got the last rally shot he wanted, which was a backhand off the back wall, and he put it away. Regresamos con ustedes en un minuto. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Back live from Guatemala City, Court Central here. Back live from Guatemala City, Court Central, Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell. Rafael Gatica, we are your team for the broadcast today. This is the second of potentially six broadcasts. It's the first of two men's singles. Team Mexico serving in game two against Team USA. Hernandez versus Pratt, and Hernandez has a one game deficit, Gustavo. Uh, very important game for Team USA, Charlie, to win that first game off the bat. Setting the tone now. Pressures on the young man from Mexico. Charlie took it out of the air. Errant forehand. I mean, it was a good call because had he left the ball bounced, the ball would have ended up at the back wall. He would have jammed himself off that 
helicopter by Hernandez. So that's an avoidable hinder, etiquette on the court. Yeah. It did not, not mean to hit you. However, it was an invasión. You got in my way. Definitivamente. Point. Llamada correcta por Paz Muñoz. Segundo set. Empate uno y uno. Fault serve, short, second serve. Saludos, Juan Francisco Cueva. Qué bien que estás mirando con nosotros. Charlie anticipated so well on that. Yet Hernandez got another opportunity and put it away. He was so close that a uh, fronton swing would have ripped him in the head. Diferente con que con Kobe, este ritmo más lento, ventaja para Pratt, pero ahí sí, Hernández en el frente de la cancha, pincha la, al lado derecha sin problema. 3-1, game two. Tres. So, uh, one adjustment made late in game one, Gustavo, was the coaching staff, in this case, Montoya and Renteria, encouraged Hernandez to go to that high Z lob to the forehand side of Pratt, and he continues to do so, paying dividends. Oh, nice touch shot with the backhand side into the left corner, winner, winner. Look at the score, my friend. 5-1, ese toque al lado aquí, lateral del cristal, excelente. Muchos jugadores lo ha usado en este torneo. La pelota gearbox lo permite. No le tienen que pegar fuerte. La inercia ha cambiado. Ball live. Ball, oh my. Casi llega. <laughs> Gran sí, punto. Sí. Casi llega. As we said earlier, folks. Rodando, pero casi llega. Hernandez is never out of the point. And it puts the pressure on his opponent to be even more espectacular for the next shot. By far, Hernandez has impressed us as with the ability to get to more balls than anybody in this tournament that I've seen play on this center court. Yeah. Racquetball on the world stage. This is his first opportunity in the adult stage, if you will. He, as you said, he got three medallas oro two years ago in the juniors. And he'll be back playing juniors on Yes, confident. he will. Yes, he will. Right here in Guatemala City in December. As the match goes on, Charlie will probably be less effective with that drive serve. Takes its toll. Great shot out of the air. Powerful pass. Right side. Del lado derecha de la cancha. Se murió en la esquina. Thank you to our viewing audience, literally five continents. All of the comments, compliments, sometimes complaints. Ball deep, ball left up. Oh, nice wide angle return by Hernandez. Commenting there. We're watching Charlie wide angle try to pass all the time. And any time that ball hits a side wall, it slows up enough where Hernandez, as quick as he is, can get to the ball. Good point. You saw that last point straight in, straight back. 
That's where he scored the point, Pratt did. But he set it up with those great angles on the wide angle, keeping Hernandez moving. Dynamic point, much to the chagrin of our amigo here, Tomas Travers. We'll stay here, Rafa. Hey, Gustavo, eighth day of activity. Eighth day of streaming. streaming. Este torneo empezamos desde el primer día con el streaming, así que ha sido realmente este, un torneo largo. And we'll be back here in December 5 through 15. Ten days capsuling the juniors, actually eight days of play, but add a day to and from for travel. Speaking of travel, very convenient to get here to Guatemala. Most of us can get here with two airports versus, versus the five we had to and from uh, Tarija and Bolivia. Direct flights from Houston, Dallas, Miami, and I'm sure Atlanta and from South America as well, from Panama. We turn to live action 6-3, six, 3-6. Three, three, six. Pratt serving, he won game one, 11-8. Different twist there. He went with the jam serve, putting the ball into that glass somewhere close to the receiving line and handcuffed his opponent, got the return he wanted. También saludos para ti, Janko, de Gary y Gustavo. Ball up top. There it is. Hit it from whence you came. He was moving left. He was passed right. I'm not convinced he'd have a call reversed if he were to appeal. He's not appealing. I'll tell you what, though, if anybody could, he probably could. Yeah. So now, one point deficit in favor of the receiver. Well, five, six, Pratt serving. There it is, pure. Dry serve. Left side, straight in, straight back. Ball took its second bounce right in front of us. Siete sirviendo cinco. Segundo set. Jugamos a 11. Primero que llega a tres sets. Point for the receiver now turned server. Pratt, 6-7. Charlie knows when to be aggressive with that return of server, go up top. As you mentioned earlier, he's, he's got the head. He's got the head. Very mental. Mentalidad. <laughs> Great shot into the corner. La pelota murió ahí, no salió de la esquina. All sets are important, Gustavo, but uh, Hernandez not want to go down 0-2. Nice. Very patient there, waited. Took the ball on the fly. Killed it with the backhand left side. A ver si va con un globo o sigue con servicio drive fuerte. Impressive, great serve by Charlie. 38 and a half roll out with the forehand in the deep right corner. 9-7. Here in the background, Maria Paz calling the score. Jam. Those of you new to the game, that's called a fault because the ball hit the back wall before taking its first bounce in the 
service area, receiving area, which well, is the excuse me, which is the area behind the short line on the floor. Nueva palabra para Gary en español, atasco. Nice ball down. Dos botes. Impressive. Siento que acá el servicio tiene que ser servicio globo. Nick. Charlie has been hanging around. 8-9 with the serve. Great serve up top. No call. Late call. Correct call. Second serve. Checking with his coach, agreed that it was short. He will not appeal that. His coach, meaning Charlie's, Pablo Fajre. Reverse. Been waiting for him to do that. Take it out of the air. And paid a dividend. Paid a dividend. Previously, both players, primarily Hernandez, is letting balls go to the back wall. He took that ball early and up front and kept the pressure on Charlie. His next shot, he put it away. Gets into the chess game. Timeout. Hernandez. Gustavo. Vamos a ver la repetición de ese último punto. Excelente tiro en la línea derecha. Estamos de regreso con ustedes en 30 segundos. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it's there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard, understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live, I just go after what I want. Back live, Gary Gustavo and Rafa, Cork Central in Guatemala City. Hernandez, Mexico serving 10. Pratt, USA, eight. First game, Pratt, 11-8. Hernandez trying to return the favor, Gustavo. Dead ball hinder called. Yo creo que sí, bien cantado. Based on Charlie's skill set, I agree with that call, but uh, he put himself in a predicament because he got so close to Hernandez. Nevertheless, Maria Paz called a hinder. So it's first serve, second game point now for Hernandez. He's appealing. Let's see if she changes her mind. So I think in that case, should it remain as called and, and here's a perfect example of, of why not you know he's got two appeals appeal it and okay so you replay it if, no, if nothing happens you lose an appeal but I do believe that that appeal that that contact or that predicament as you say that Charlie got himself into actually helped Charlie because he would not have a, had much of a return there there would not have been much on it oh, but in the that's, back wall that's that's his mentality of the yeah. game he knows it, what he can get away with we'll see if he gets away with this one and he did so one lost appeal for Team Mexico. Third. Third game point. And if you count that dead ball now, this is the fourth game point here in the second set. Diez sirviendo ocho. Asking Maria Paz to look for the invasión. Z-ball, great return, look at that. Pratt forehand, ball alive. Ball alive again. 
Front wall, side wall, kiss, winner. Uncanny, Gustavo. Chuka por parte de Pratt. Si no hubiera sido eso, creo que el rally hubiera continuado. La habilidad de Hernández de llegar a todas las pelotas, impresionante cómo se mueve en la cancha, la anticipación. También cómo se recupera tan, tan rápido después de un tiro. Thank Pena. you, empleados here. Again, keeping the environment safe, fair and clean. So, fourth game point from Hernandez is warded off by Pratt. This will be game point number nine for the receiver, uh, five for the receiver. It's 9-10. Remember Kobe against Hernandez yesterday had five, not four, not six, but five match points in that fourth set. Nueve sirviendo diez. Wow. Exciting. Hernandez did everything but win that rally, Gustavo. So Charlie won the rally. Now we go overtime here in the second set. It's 10-10, first to 12. Youth and energy versus experience and energy. Who has the advantage? Thus far, it's been Pratt. Igual es 10, vamos a 12. A top setup. Setup number two. Setup number three. No, he's going up top. Should have. Wow. Unfazed. Unfazed Charlie Pratt. Okay. <laughs> I hit a forcing shot. He kept it in play. I'll just hit a better shot. No problem. What Charlie did with that overhead, I was concerned. He was getting aggressive wanting to put the ball down and not able to and he hit that down the line overhead so perfectly that Hernandez was lucky to get a racket on it. Yeah the mentality was not necessarily to end that rally but to put the pressure on Hernandez who was probably like myself expecting Pratt to go up top. Contact. Contact, and apparently there's some blood on his hand. Allowed a cumulative up to 15 minutes. I think he's he's fine. He went yeah, to we'll wash his hands with the so medical team here. We'll review the injury timeout protocol, Gustavo. Injury timeout can be awarded based on contact. In this case, Hernandez was down on the floor, uh, broke a blood vessel or whatever. He's bleeding, so bleeding is allowed he has up to 15 minutes collectively f for the match after that he has to use his one time out in addition to if if he hasn't used it he gets another minute it has to be contact the other player racket ball floor wall no well, pre-existing well said cramping is not allowed as far as Injury timeouts go. There has to be contact with something, as Gary said. In this case, there was no doubt his hand went right into the glass. When we go to back to live action, Pratt will now have his first game point. He's had five against him that he's staved off, uh, much to the chagrin of Sebastian Hernandez. The, the gets on that last rally by Hernandez, impressive. Impresionante, and como add, llega la, la bola. Add to the equation, I would say, uh, the gets by Pratt as well. Y la presión. Vamos a ver la de vuelta, el último rally, por favor, Rafa. He got to that ball, incredible. So 
So, Gustavo, if uh, Pratt can close out the next rally, huge, huge predic predicament for his opponent. Arnandez, it would be 0-2. Whether he does or doesn't, I don't count this young man out. No, absolutely not. We expected this to go five. This is game two. So this is part of a an injury time for our viewing audience. It's timed by Maria Paz. So let's say it's three minutes. He has 12 remaining collectively for this match. See Hernandez hitting a few. Gearbox Black, the official racquetball of the IRF. Pratt serving. Game point number one for him. Hernandez trying to prolong this game. He's had five opportunities for game. 11 serviendo 10. Pelota corta. Segundo servicio. Nice. Loose. Loose Nick lob attempt by Charlie at cost him. A Nick is a ball that grazes the side wall deep in the court to this side to preclude the receiver taking the ball early. Empate. First to 13 now, Gustavo. So he went, he's gone away from his uh, defensive serves back to his attacke. Attacke. Segundo servicio. Fue pelota corta. Okay, so there was contact and obviously from Charlie's perspective, it wasn't incidental. From our perspective, it was this side of incidental. And he says, why not? I'm gonna stop. Let's see if the call is made. It was made, but not on his behalf. So he's appealing. In the rules, you will read uh, failure to move, blocking. I would agree with Charlie on that. He has a right to get to the ball. It was his turn, his right. shot. And Hernandez happened to be right there in the way, precluding him, whether it's a forehand or a backhand. It was an offensive shot to the front wall. Let's see what the referee, Maria Paz Munoz, concludes. So her, so she, 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 op she overruled her original call. The original call was incidental contact. And in, now in favor the call in favor of, as you said, failure to move. Point for Pratt, another game match, uh, game point for him, 12-11. That, that should be avoidable as well. That's a block. <laughs> <laughs> Shrugging that one off, uh, it hurt yeah. twice there. Yeah, he went for the short crack in the safety zone. The ball veered off <laughs> into the middle. Hernandez says, I'm going to shoot it, and boom. 12-12. Ball live. Nice. Left up, near side forehand, pinch by Charlie. Hernandez returns the favor with his backhand into the left side. Wall, front wall, pinch. Wow. Ventaja Hernández ahora. En este segundo set. Vamos posiblemente a 14. 13, 12. Sixth game point here for Hernández. Wow. So the call is short, Rafa. What is the call short? 
call was short. It cleared the line from our perspective. And in that case, that's one of the reasons why you want to have that appeal. Sure. She'll see. It'll be this side of black and white whether the ball cleared that short line. Let's and if it did, guess it. what? It'll be awarded. A point will be awarded to Hernandez. That's a coaching concern. Maria Paz and Daniel Maggi are reviewing. Players conversing with each other. We see a smile on both players' faces. <laughs> Awaiting the review and outcome of this appeal. I couldn't tell from here. It looked like it was a good serve. But that ball's going so fast. Maria Paz called it short. There's the VAR video assist review right now going on with her and Daniel Maggi. Now the camera's on this side of the court, the one on the short line. So call stands, appeal used by Hernandez. I believe he doesn't have any left. I think you are correct there. Second serve, he'll probably go back with that high Z lob to the forehand side, which was working first part of this game. Okay, this is a continuation of the injury timeout. Welcome, Aether, Renteria. Saludos to Luis, your brother. Joanne, hello, Joanne. Senior helicopter from Costa Rica, Camacho. Saludos, amigo. Te extraño mucho. <laughs> bueno, seguimos. Second serve. Game point number seven for Hernandez. 13-12. And Hernandez cashes in the seventh attempt. When we return, let's look at that last serve and return a serve. When we come back, it'll be one set each. That was a hard fought second set. Congratulations, Hernandez. Ese segundo set, ganador Hernandez. Difícil para ambos jugadores. Vamos ahora al tercer set. Estamos de vuelta aquí en Cancha número 6, último día de nuestros Panamericanos, 35 ABA de edición de la ciudad de Guatemala, Guatemala. live from the Polidomo de Racket in Guatemala City. You are watching the 35th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships. This is Gary with Gustavo and Rafael. We're anticipating game three, it's one each. So to put things into perspective, Gustavo, the desk staff, Maggi and Mauro, now schedule matches 45 minutes apart 
because of the new format rally scoring. Yesterday, the Iwasa Hernandez match was one hour and 37 minutes. The first two sets here have exceeded 45 minutes. We may be on track to exceed that one hour 37 <laughs> minute mark. History is made. But this was, on the men's side, in my opinion, what was gonna be the, the match of the day. Pratt serving. So, unforced error ends game two in favor of his opponent. We start off game three, unforced error in favor of his opponent. Hernandez serving 1-0. First to win three sets. 11 points, rally scoring, win by two. 1-0. Ball's down, near crack serve, ace. It's first time he's been successful. And he's gone back to primarily using the power serve. His coaching staff saw something probably in Pratt's game that said go, go back to it. He was visually hindered, we'll see what the call is. The call is, call stands, point. She's going to review her call. Charlie is appealing for a visual hinder. Well said. He's not appealing for an avoidable, he's appealing for a replay. Nice to see our association president from Guatemala in the bleachers here. El doctor donde, El where, doctor where? Estuardo Ware. Call stands. No cambia nada. Punto tres. So Gustavo early on now in the third set. Charlie has one usable appeal. As you said, it could come back to haunt you if you don't have those available late in the game. Now an appeal has to be made for a shot by yourself or your opponent, the previous, previa tiro. So if you have to stop play, you stop play. If you're certain you're going to appeal that. Now that qualified because it was the previous event. Previous shot by his opponent and put him in a position. It. Not sure what our uh, drug czar, Dean Shear, is in inputting here, but he's reviewing the monitor as well. I think we had a te technical question by the acting Mexican coach, Rodrigo Montoya. And we'll ask Dean to explain to us what happened. Meanwhile, we're gonna go back to action. He's going to tell Gustavo, and he'll relate it to us. 2-0, game number three, Hernandez serving. So Charlie hit the ball and then <laughs> Rally ending shot by Pratt on that loose jam that ended up being a wraparound serve. Came into the power zone of Pratt, and he ended the rally with his forehand. 1-2 when we return to play. So what, what uh, Dean was explaining to me is that Ch uh, Charlie actually hit the ball and stopped play. And the call was no hinder, and the appeal was for a hinder. But it still qualifies. Still qualifies. It was still his shot and the opponent's previous shot or vice versa. Well put. Thank you. We hope all of you out there viewing and listening or tuned into the rules of the game. Internationalracquetball.com. Print out a set for your own library. Side out, Hernandez serving four, Pratt receiving one. Cuatro uno. Broken string, this is a referee timeout. The difference in US play is Hernandez if there were two timeouts available, he would have to use one of his. 
In this case, he does not. He still has his one available. Now, if it happened when he had exhausted all his, uh, he's entitled to a referee timeout, and he has 30 seconds to uh, procure another racket. Exactly the opposite if there's a glove request change. That's right. Glove does not fall, uh, fall under that protocol because a glove is not a required piece of equipment. But in the USAR, they are able to change their glove without a uh, I'm going to have to review the new rule book. I think you're right, but uh, I'm not going to put a period on that sentence. Nice pinch winner. So if I could comment on that last diving attempted get by Hernandez, that's the play that I think Pratt has to continue to, to, to use with Hernandez, is forcing Hernandez to take some shots from the deep back court. Remember, the gearbox black ball now allows, allows for the ceiling ball game, and Charlie does that better than anybody, pushing the opponent all the way back to force those shots then Charlie ran up to cut that off, pinch it in the corner. Excellent, excellent play by Pratt on that point. Meanwhile, 2-4, Pratt serving. First to 11, win by two. Set up. Jammed him. Charlie jammed Hernandez into that left side wall. Hernandez was not not able to negotiate a return, so it's 3-4. Yesterday, uh, I saw Hernandez hit that three-wall boast. The exact same shot, but it made it. Impressive. Came up short. Second serve. Tranquil, tranquil uh, crowd here. Near side pinch winner, Great. predicated by his great return to serve, Gustavo. That was a great get by Charlie, though, just to keep it in play. 5-3, game three. First of two men's singles. Next up, we'll have ladies singles. Cespedes, no, it's not Cespedes. It's Medi Delgado, Medi Nelly Delgado, Dominicana, Maria Jose Vargas, Argentina. Case in point, very patient. Charlie goes back up top. Hernandez tries to end the rally with the backhand deep court and puts it into the floor. Four, the four five. Keep the slow game going here for Pratt. Hernandez does not have the patience to wait like Pratt does. Second serve. Nick Lobb left. You see how it grazed the side wall, folks. Precluded Hernandez from taking that ball out of the air. Forced him into the back wall and he skipped an offensive return. He should have gone up with that. Could have. Yep. 39 and a half feet. Hindsight. Straddle ball off that jam. Put away the momentum. Inercia has changed again in favor of the young man from the USA. He now enjoys a one point lead, 6 5 in the third set. Back and forth. Rally scoring, Gustavo. Very, very engaging. The fans love it. The players are getting used to it. It's going to happen, not sure when, but the U.S. will adopt that rule. They use it for qualifying for international play, but their rule still is regular scoring. Nick Lobb, that's impressive. So the call is skip ball. The call is rollout. Charlie's 
going to appeal, we think. His first appeal of this third set. I would appeal, too. I, it looked good, but it, the sound indicated to me it was a skip. Agreed. So Agreed. she's going to look at the VAR and make a determination. Do I agree with my original call, or do I overrule my original call? Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Agree totally with the way you described that. It didn't sound right, but it looked like a good shot. See the Dominican delegation anticipating the next broadcast on Cork Central here, women's singles. They will play against Argentina. They're down one, uh, one match, zero. Peel in. So she overruled her original call. No appeal used. Pratt scores that point. And now, I believe it's a two-point spread, 7-5. Short. The VAR system is excellent. There's no then looking at the lines people to yeah, too much scowl human error. at them. And Good point. Ball live. Pratt, forehand. Near side pinch winner. Momentum has changed in Pratt's favor. It's 8 5, game three. High tide has come up for the young man from Portland, Oregon. Timeout. Let's look at that last rally. Repetición, por favor, Rafa. Okay. No. So we'll go. We'll, we will go to a commercial in in the stead. We don't have that on a replay. Stay tuned, folks. You're on the Pan Am Sports Channel and the International Racquetball Federation broadcast channels as well. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard, understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you, and that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Back live, Port Central, Guatemala City. We were commenting earlier, Gustavo and Rafa, uh, some of these matches yesterday, the longest match, one hour, 37 minutes. This match has been an hour. We've had some people out there in our viewing audience complain that rally scoring is too short. <laughs> <laughs> well, not this, not this game. Not this one Quite today. frankly, if it's if it's a blowout, whether it's regular or rally scoring, it's going to be short. Good down the line by Hernandez. Tiro del lado del cristal. We call that a lleno. Tiempo lleno. Full timeout. Tiro. No advancement in the score from Pratt, and he gets he being Hernandez gets a point. Oh my, I thought he was going to wrap a Z ball up front because he was moving his feet. Charlie got away with that one. He did. Behind the back there, Pratt. Keep Nine, the ball six. in play and get the point. Nueve sirviendo seis. That was a great serve, wraparound serve that veered into that right side wall, handcuffed his opponent. Game point in game four, number one for Pratt. Right now, the match is tied one each. It's 
just great shot selection. Didn't try to do too much. Hit that ball 65% of his max to explode at the feet of his opponent and it handcuffed his opponent, at which time he skipped it. That was an intentional shot by Charlie. So we've closed out the third set, 2-1 in favor of Team USA. Vamos a regresar con ustedes en dos minutos. Welcome back, everyone. Gary Mazaroff, Gustavo Farrell, Rafael Gatica, and Dean Shear. We're here at Court Central in Guatemala City. Thank you, everybody. Racquetball on the world stage, five continents we have a view from which we have a viewing audience. Welcome to the feed. Recent paddleball champ from Arizona, Darren Randles. Nuestro último octavo día de juego aquí en los Panamericanos en la ciudad de Guatemala estamos viendo competencia en equipo, la final Estados Unidos, México este es el primer juego de sencillos de hombres increíble como llega la bola. No hizo nada, pero llega. Pratt writing another chapter in his book with his shot selection. Notice that Hernandez went back to his more defensive serve, the high Z lob to the forehand to no avail. It's 1-0 for his opponent. Pelota corta. Segundo servicio. Reverse winner, Hernandez. Along the right side wall, he snaps a reverse. That's a tough shot, my friend. Igual es uno en este cuarto set. Maria Paz Munoz, head official. Short hop into the floor, point Hernandez. Anticipate him staying with this. I'm not sure why he changed originally, but it was probably a call by one of his three coaches. His third coach is uh, hit it harder, Jaime. Speaking of hitting it harder, roll out. Again, la línea recta. Una vez que la pelota pega pared de costado, se alentiza, da más oportunidad para un jugador que es rápido como Hernández llegar a la bola. So Pratt wind up, affected straight in, straight back. Happened to kill. 
Take it second bounce immediately off that front wall. So we're tied at two in game four. Pratt enjoys a 2-1 game lead. Ahora, That's impressive. Viste ahí que no se esperó Hernández, quiso tomarla desde el hombro, matarla y Pratt se esperó, la mató en la esquina. Tiene que seguir este ritmo tranquilo. It was the first time he hit that forehand soft lob left side and uh, as you said Hernandez not showing his patience so I, she called a piso on that she called a skip there's an appeal ese vi excelente tiro por parte de Hernandez yo creo que ahí sí este apelación la va a ganar no vi ningún bote ningún skip pero bueno todo se, todo se puede apelar menos defaults y técnicos. Claro que sí. Hay mucha gente que no sabe eso. Están las reglas. Bueno saber. En Freeman. Su propia copia. International Racquetball Federation Rules. Internationalracquetball.com es el website. You have your own set. 2022 to 24, at the end of this year, we will have the new set, 24 to 26, uh, on which you and I and uh, some of our compatriots will have the opportunity to complete. Dean Shear, Raj Mohan, Tim Baghurst, Marie Gomar, Cheryl Kirk. They look to us a lot, too, because of the language the English language and the wording. In a perfect world, we have a translation into Spanish. We'd like to get one into the other language. It's Jap uh, Japanese, Korean. So here we go. Call Enojado Hernandez. Point awarded for Charlie Pratt. The call stands, skip ball. Hernandez has used his, well, his first of two available appeals here in fourth set. That call surprised me, but that's what the VAR is for. 4-2. Four, 4 Cuatro sirviendo dos. Jam. Charlie keeps it going. Just uh, unnerving. You hit what you feel is a rally ending shot and it's not and now you have to be even better the next time and that wasn't even better he put that ball that was a power skip now let's remember we've got 10 seconds to put the ball in play after the score is called no dancing around up there let's play ball takes it early Out of the reach of Charlie. Rally ending shot by Hernandez. He comes in to serve. Yeah, good point, Gustavo, because Charlie is one of the players that has a knack of uh, delaying after the score is called. Maria Paz has not called any delays. Players will be given one warning. Per match. Per match. As a server or receiver. Charlie has his racket up. He has to drop it within the 10 second time frame. He honored that. That's, that's impressive. Put a little more amp into that forehand down the line, right side, so the ball chukad <laughs> at the right deep corner. La chukio. Chukio. Es un verbo. Me enseñaron los bolivianos. Se chukio. Gracias, amigo. The slang is chukiod. <laughs> sí, está bien dicho. No, so, sé, no sé si está en el diccionario, diccionario español, in, pero así la usan. Además, la palabra de Argentina. Tronquito. Y esposado.
Pratt has taken Hernandez out of his game. He leads 7-3, trying to close this match out. Tiempo México. Nos quedamos acá. Un minuto. De vuelta agradeciendo a nuestros sponsors. Gearbox. Esta pelota ha cambiado o ha hecho el juego mucho mejor. Tanto para eh, traer de vuelta lo que es el juego del techo, que se jugaba mucho en los 70 y al principio de los 80, hasta que cambió la, la pelota y cambió la, cambiaron las raquetas. Asimismo, el, la potencia que uno puede generar con esta pelota es tremenda, pero la pelota al pegar una pared se alentiza muy rápido. Tampoco se rompe la pelota, que es fantástico. Eh, hemos visto muy poca pelota rota en este torneo en, y en otros torneos. Así que esta edición también permite que los jugadores eh, mixtos, las mujeres y lo que yo vi eh, esta semana, por ejemplo, la señorita Juliette Parron de Canadá, la habilidad de devolver los pelotazos que le daban a ella, los lo, lo regresaba con facilidad. Buenos dichos, señor. Gustavo talking about the gearbox black. Slowed the game down a tad. Brought more defensive play in, in, in vogue, if you will. More uh, geared towards the 1970s when the rackets were 18 inches long. Charlie Pratt, seven. Sebastian Hernandez, three. Ball live. Great shot. Straight in, straight back. Gritando Hernandez. Pressure on him. If he is not successful in closing this game out, then his partner, Rodrigo Montoya, will have to win his singles match against Jake Bredenbeck in order for Mexico to have a chance by, via the doubles match. Charlie anticipated that near side pinch got there. Yes, he did. And tried to uh, drop it into the corner, which was the excellent choice. Straight in, straight back. Charlie wants to play now. He doesn't want to delay with the empleado cleaning it. 5-7, game four. Here in the background, Maria Paz calling the score. Notice on that drive serve, Hernandez elevated that racket, tried to put more oomph into that serve. It came up short. Comes back to the drive, uh, high Z lob. Sets him up. Oh my. Caught him leaning. Eighth point for the receiver, now turned server, Pratt. 8-5, game four. From the days of Charlie Brumfield, now to Charlie Pratt. Good point. Comes right, caught Hernandez leaning. So this drive serve will keep Hernandez at bay, more central. Give Pratt an advantage going either way, or perhaps he'll come back with his jam in the middle and handcuff his opponent. <laughs> he comes right. <laughs> Hernandez pulled a Kobe there, ran around his backhand and ended the rally with the forehand. Kobe would like that one back yesterday in, in game number four where he put himself in a position where he couldn't do anything offensive. But look, look where Hernandez hit that ball, right down the line. Excellent shot selection. Had he reverse pinched it, Pratt would have had it. 6-9, game four. That 
shows the impatience. Overall in this match, he's been successful with that high Z lob right side. He's going something different here. Charlie deep court. He was gonna let it go. Oh, nice. From his knees, fist pump. So and tough. Yeah. Fascinating. Charlie was gonna let that ball, the ceiling ball from Hernandez go into the back wall and he realized last split second, he did not have that option. So he was able to neutralize the point by getting the ball back to the ceiling at which time Hernandez shot it and Charlie put it away. Match point number one here, game four, Pratt leads two games to one, 10-6. This is team singles number two player competition. Skipped in. So this will be as a receiver, Pratt will be anticipating match point number two, Hernandez serving. Yes, explain uh, that the order changes. Uh, it's not the same order each time, Gustavo. Right, each, each day that changes depending on whether it's quarter, semis, today finals, we're doing singles, player number two, then player number one, and if necessary, the doubles. Great serve by Hernandez. Great return. Wow, Charlie kept Hernandez on that yo-yo string, yet. Hernandez, so quick, so agile. Ret <laughs> returns a reverse pinch with the forehand left corner and puts it away. Buries it in the Let's left corner. Let's watch that, Rafa. Let's watch that last rally, my friend. No. Okay. Ya lo vieron. Gracias. Tiempo, Estados Unidos. Seguimos acá con ustedes. Les decimos qué es lo que viene ahora en... Vamos a ver la repetición de nuevo, pero en este minuto, después de este juego, va a jugar las mujeres. Second of the two women's singles. Argentina, Dominicana, Mary Nanieli de la República Dominicana, enfrentando a María José Vargas de Argentina. Y después de eso, el, los hombres sencillos número uno. Jake Bredenbeck, USA, against Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico. That's a for sure. That's a for sure. The doubles are not for sure at this point. So we will stream broadcast no less than four matches today, potentially up to six, taking us to mid-afternoon here in local time, Rocky Mountain, daylight time. And this is about where we were yesterday when Hernandez took it away from Kobe winning the fourth and then the fifth match, fifth this game. Is, this is the third match point for Charlie. There it is. And there it is. Charlie Pratt, USA, three sets to one over Sebastian Hernandez, Mexico. Congratulations to both players. The outcome of team play has yet to be determined, but that's certainly Paves, that certainly paves the way for Team USA. As you said, this was a critical match for Team USA to a determining factor. How long was that match? One hour 22, so the record still sits with yesterday's Kobe yeah. uh, Sebastian yeah. Hernandez match. So Jack Goldberg and some of you others, those of you that think rally scoring is too short, come on and uh, play internationally and you might exceed an hour just as well. Congratulations, Charlie Pratt, Team USA. Pressure is now on Montoya from Mexico to uh, force that tie-breaking doubles match between the Bredenbecks and Hernandez Montoya. We'll see what happens. And we'll be that, back with you folks in 10 minutes. Me, if, if, if that happens, that'll be la revancha for Hernandez. True. Regresamos en 10 minutos. <laughs> 